Welcome to the NTN Nightly. I'm Misha Charles. This edition Stop Stories. Security measures at the National Mental Wellness Center are being reviewed to better provide a safe environment for patients and staff. The national conversation opens on the troubling secret of self-harm and mental health. The well-being of adolescents is the focus of a renewed thrust by the government of St. Lucia and the NTN Nouvelle en Creole. Security measures at the National Mental Wellness Center are being reviewed by the Ministry of Health and Wellness to better provide a safe environment for patients and staff. This after a patient of the center who had been reported missing from the facility was found dead. Jennifer Forrester is the executive director of the National Wellness Center. On Sunday, very late into the evening, we discovered that Mr. Joseph was missing from his ward. Upon realizing that the patient was missing, the protocol that is in place at the facility was activated. The protocol is the police were informed, the family was informed, and a search was conducted after the alarm was raised. After a thorough search of the compound of the National Mental Wellness Center, Mr. Joseph was not found. On Wednesday of this week, we received word that Mr. Joseph was found and he was deceased. At the facility, what we are doing currently, we are reviewing all of our security measures we have in place. Ms. Forrester and other health officials have expressed condolences. St. Lucia joined the rest of the world in observing Self-Injury Awareness Day on the 1st of March. As part of observing Self-Injury Awareness Day, the Department of Health and Wellness is working towards raising awareness among St. Lucians about self-injury and self-harm. The department is encouraging St. Lucians to be open-minded about mental health and recovery. Consultant psychiatrist Dr. Julius Gillard says it is important that people choose to be more open about their own self-harm and to receive the necessary assistance. Persons who are experiencing overwhelming emotions can get assistance. They can call the helpline at 203. Persons usually what happens, they feel that they have to call the helpline when the emotion is too much and they, they are now thinking of suicide. So emotions can be de dealt with early or persons can learn other coping mechanisms instead of self-injury. Dr. Gillard says St. Lucian should take advantage of the services available at the National Mental Wellness Center. The consultant psychiatrist is encouraging St. Lucians to help others suffering from the menace of self-injury and to lend support to them. Much of the work of the island's agriculture leaders center around stimulating growth in the sector, a move that places emphasis on the importance of agri-based livelihoods to the country's socio-economic development. Amanda Faye Clark tells us more. President of the Caribbean Network of Rural Women, Carmen Nurse, says it is only in getting commission headquarters for the processing and the production of local commodities will we see the real impact and benefits of agro-processing. For rural people, particularly rural women, the dependence on value-added opportunities is huge and continuous effort must be made to allow agro-processors to further enhance their capacity to produce creative products. The linkage between tourism and agriculture is that tourists are coming to eat St. Lucian food. And we are here as St. Lucian Network of Rural Women Producers to produce authentic, that's the key, authentic St. Lucian products. The real deal. Prime Minister and the Parliamentary Representative for Mikud South, Honorable Alan Chastney, who also hold the portfolios of economic growth and job creation, says he is elated that his constituents have continued to take the initiative to improve their product offerings. This, he says, demonstrates the type of dedication needed to create an authentic solution brand. Agro-processing, he explains, affords the island a unique opportunity to take advantage of a niche created by agro-tourism. The long-term benefit of tourism is understanding that a person from overseas has paid an airline ticket, has paid for their hotel accommodation to visit our country. And we must make sure that when they're here, that they get exposed to products that are St. Lucian. 
Agriculture and Food Production Minister Honorable Ezekiel Joseph says the commissioning of new agro-processing facilities provides the perfect opportunity for agri-entrepreneurship. The government, he explains, will revisit some of its strategic interventions to ensure that many more people can start and sustain businesses in agriculture. I want to say that whilst we're speaking about the agro-processing facility here, but we have a number of other facilities there. We have also the cocoa fermentary, and we should not lose sight of this. And the marketing board, the new infrastructure that we are putting in place would have an outlet here to produce, to purchase from our farmers. And in addition to that, I want to inform our young persons here today that we're going to revisit the youth in agricultural program for this community. Discussions have also started on a branding strategy for locally produced products. A move, when completed, the island's agriculture and trade development leaders believe will give solution products an advantage in international markets. From the Information Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, I'm Amanda Fay Clark reporting. The government of St. Lucia in collaboration with UNICEF has officially launched the inaugural report on adolescent well-being and equity in St. Lucia. Anisia Antoine has the details. The report provides policy and research data on adolescents and will guide efforts by policymakers to enhance the overall well-being of adolescents. Velda Joseph, Acting Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice, Local Government and Empowerment, stated that this initiative is in keeping with the Ministry's social agenda to provide first-class delivery of services to the population. St. Lucia, with support and assistance from UNICEF, undertook the very first comprehensive assessment of adolescent well-being and equity in the Eastern Caribbean, and hence, we are now in a very unique position to plan strategically to address the many social ills that we come across in our society. Specifically, this assessment will provide sectors who interface with adolescents an opportunity to make informed decisions, and that is very important. And it also provides an opportunity to plan the way forward in addressing the socioeconomic problems and injustices that our adolescent boys and girls experience. Recent statistics from the World Bank confirmed that an estimated 1.8 billion adolescents are currently transitioning between childhood and adulthood. St. Lucia is among the islands with a sizable population of adolescents in the OECS sub-region. Dr. Alois Kamaraijie, UNICEF representative for the Eastern Caribbean, expressed his satisfaction with the works being done by the government of St. Lucia as they seek to strengthen policies and programs for adolescents. As St. Lucia is shaping a new future based on the sustainable development goals, there is growing recognition that success will require investing in young people, realizing the rights of adolescents, and advancing their development must be preceded, first of all, by an understanding of their current situation based on evidence. Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Honorable Edmund Estefan, says the research is a critical ingredient in understanding the issues that affect the youth. It is important to note that without appropriate research, programs aimed at change are likely to be based on implicit or assumed problem identification and or inferred community needs and wishes and they will be dealt with in an ad hoc manner. As we embark on a sustainable socioeconomic path for our people, we are planning in a strategic manner towards achieving community participation in activities that lead to real change. 64 key findings were documented in the Adolescent Report across the health, education and labor market sectors. From the Government Information Service, I am Anisia Antoine reporting. Mais là
I noticed that you built your retaining wall on my property. You will have to give me my land back or compensate me for that. My contractor isn't dumb. I trust that he will not build anything on your property. Where is your proof? Let's go to court. This situation does not require you to go to court. Looks like we have to go through mediation here. Mediation is a way people resolve conflicts like this. Someone, a third party, comes to speak to both parties. This person is called the mediator. The mediator is impartial. He or she makes sure that communication between both parties is effective and efficient. So, the mediator is a judge? No, the mediator is not a judge. Mediators, unlike judges, do not decide cases or impose settlements. Let me get a mediator to handle this retaining wall and that kitchen. Kitchen? Yes, your kitchen also falls on my land. Let me call the mediator. The Department of Infrastructure along with the Department of Transport and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force are implementing a traffic flow improvement program to improve the travel time along the castries Grosley Highway. Upon successful implementation, it is estimated that a reduction of 15 to 20 minutes in travel time could be achieved for the 27,000 average daily commuters. A three-month pilot is currently in motion, focusing on minimizing traffic interruptions by closing the entry of the Windward Island Gases Road, preventing vehicles from using the junction as a bypass. This has been selected as the focus of the pilot due to frequent traffic entering and exiting the secondary junctions, which are within close proximity to the highway, thus interrupting the main traffic flow on the castries Grizzly Highway. The pilot phase will focus on weekday morning peak hours of 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And stay with the NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson is here with the NTN Nouvelle Aquarium. Préparation et preneur nous cachent de manger mérité à chaque proportion, particulièrement après un désastre. Millions de conseils qui créent un péché ou une maladie. Faites attention au cache de manger. Examinez bien pour voir si dommagé et gardez pour date où mérité pas servi encore. Le cache de viande à la main bouchée, gardez pour stand bio libérément. En menu santé, qui cache mouture ou qui viande salade examinée et est satisfait pour vendre. Pas de viande, poisson, viande poule et belle autre manger qui mérité rester à souffrir du pour plus qui. Quatre litres de l'eau et bien au machin. Lavez la main bien et puis savon avec de l'eau tiède avant et du moins tant qu'on entame viande qui peut être cuite. Servez mon sur planche avec l'autre bagaille à part pour couper viande qui pas cuite. Mettez l'instant manger cuite en fridge la même après vous servir. Et pas de pour plus qui dé pour trois jours. Et que l'eau qui a vu réchauffer, fait à six et il chauffe un pile. Changez, mangez propre car un péché maladie. Ouais, pour caution. Si vous voulez plus d'informations, cuyez bio information santé à numéro 468 secteur 49. Welcome back. We joined Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle Aquarium. Monsieur Madame, département qui est responsable pour information en gouvernement cette fois-ci, ça c'est GIS. À ce moment-là, télévision nationale paya NTN. Capuzeto Nouvelle Aquarium. Capuzeto Primus Hutchinson. Le département de santé de cette ci a continué à recevoir force support pour aider, adresser et procurer des services pour les gens qui ont souffert et puis maladie puis ça a Il y a un gain de Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust a visité cette ci récemment pour examiner un exercice pour traiter les problèmes de vision par une cause de maladie puis ça a Ça a été Diabetic Retinopathy en anglais. Officier de communication de Trust là. Samantha Wood déclarait que la visitation a été une occasion pour jouer les professionnels de santé et aussi les gens qui ont une maladie pour eux-mêmes, 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 pour à l'initiative ça là, il marque que les gens ne pas supposer perdre de vision à l'école de Pissadou. En plus vite, qui les gens ont trouvé le traitement, c'est plus meilleur aussi pour faire ça. Il y a aussi que pour les gens qui sont malades de Pissadou, pour faire assurer qu'ils ont trouvé l'examination en fait associée. L'officier de médecin, Dr. Sharon Belmont-George, est très excité pour continuer le travail et puis le trust là. 
pour aider à prouver ce service là en pays. Il explique expliqué que ce qui est plus important en programme ça là, c'est la communication. C'est le docteur Belma George, le programme là très important parce que avant le programme ça là, il n'est pas possible pour pouvoir former l'opération en Zimoun qui a souffert de maladie et de la douleur. L'officier médecin a conseillé ce médecin pour prendre l'avantage du service là pour traiter Zimoun qui a souffert de maladie et de la douleur parce que le service là est available en toute institution de ce pays. Le ministre de la Santé a fait un appel pour tout le monde qui a souffert de la douleur et de la douleur pour visiter ces sept pays, ces sept santé, pour examiner les yeux. Si même si vous n'avez pas de problème et puis vision, vous n'avez pas faire ça. Ce service là qu'a fait tous les vendredis en Wellness Center à Castri et présentement en Salle Bouya comme Wellness Center en Vieux-Fort en Barrochement pour les présents. Institution pour les gens qui ont souffert et puis maladie sévère, j'ai parlé concernant les gens qui ont là qui ont découvert le cadavre de la mer par la même institution. Selon le directeur exécutif pour l'Institut des maladies sévères, Jennifer Forrester, il a appris que M. Angel Bert Joseph n'a pas été présent à la place où il est supposé habiter. Alors, immédiatement après, il a suivi Wayne qui est en place pour la situation qu'on s'est arrivée. Ça veut dire qu'il a notifié la police et la famille de M. Joseph. Selon Mme Forrester, après, ils ont tout partout à l'établissement, ils n'ont pas trouvé le mystère. Mais, mais quand ils passent, l'institution a reçu un rapport qui a découvert le cadavre de Joseph Bordelam, mais tout près de l'institution. Pour le déclaré que pour ça, ils ont visité visiter tout aspect de sécurité qui est en place pour faire ce qui ni travail et patience qui trouvé une bonne protection. Et pour aussi renforcer cette sécurité qui est en place, le directeur exécutif pour l'institution nationale pour maladie sévère là déclaré que yo ensemble et puis département santé qu'a séparé au frontière et puis la famille Angelbert Joseph Gwalizin la bien cette ci with with the Lord Glory Chartre à dans un gymnase et puis association les Rivadens Gozile pour étrenner yo dans affaire meilleur service pour les pratiques et pour éprouver à sa façon pour vendre pour vendre. L'initiative ça là, c'est pour éprouver l'image Go Festé le vendredi à Ville Gozile. Les représentatifs, les îles de la BA, font une visitation spéciale pour commune à semaine passée et pour présenter l'association et puis deux ou trois cadeaux qui étaient bien mérités. Grand spectacle qui Gozile Katchen le vendredi soir, c'est une destination des amusements culturels pour plus de 30 ans l'année à présent. Côté ni touristes et que le pays a embrassé. Le spectacle là, plus toujours, j'ai trouvé dans une position pour protéger un vivre de économique pour aider ces vivants de la salle à vivre une meilleure vie. Comme c'est l'usine la bière qui a protégé presque toute la boisson pour ce spectacle là, il y a une décision pour faire une contribution à ça. Et aussi présenter l'association Les Vivants de Gozile et puis trois points à rôle pour l'association Conduit Business League. J'ai pour la bière Python en l'usine là, Sylvester Henry, parlé de manière grand spectacle là, j'ai changé l'apparence de Ville Gozile, particulièrement les vendredis du souhait. Il a ajouté que c'est pour eux ça là, établissement, et étonnement, qui a aidé pour l'association à grandi, participation, les pratiques d'un grand spectacle là. Mais pour Gozile, James Edwin dit que étonnement avec ses présentations, c'est un qui a apprécié un pile tout bonnement. Les îles la bière aussi annoncé plan pour improuver l'image comme une Il y a un plan pour bâtir un établissement pour les enfants, pour les jouer avec les récréations, et pour finir la construction de la bibliothèque Gozile. Ces quatre chefs Hod Hotel et Restaurant au Lyon Pays ont participé dans une compétition nationale en façon pour tweet et produire différentes présentations à la cuisine et aussi boissons. L'initiative ça là, c'est pour choisir ses plus meilleurs à ses participants pour représenter cette liste dans une grande compétition caribéenne. Les participants qui trouvaient participants qui trouvaient la victoire dans la compétition nationale là, c'est chef Zaim Kadé qui trouvait titre comme plus meilleur chef pour l'année Clayton Julian et puis titre pour plus meilleur à ses chefs qui neuf 
uh, professor Chef Ricardo who swear for Podui de la Ne de Podui de la Ne Vans Do con Chef for Podui de Vian Bef Emmanuel Hippolyte for Podui Bonbon a cafe cosa a Steffi Marius for Podui Chocolat. Jewe pou competition sa la chef Richardson Skinner. Nou ma kiki, yo dwa vay twe wè pou wè competition sa la se yon ki ka etabli yon gwan chef ki dwe prepare pou gwan competition set le si. Ek pou asire ki competition sa la pote de gwe valè a ki mirite. Competition pou etabli prime chef a karib la an existas depi lande 1993. Lande pasi, gany set le si a gwen lò an la victoire pou yo ek pou mè koktel vodka ek da jan pou pli mè gany de tuzin pou lan dia a pa mè les ot pwi se gany lan ki te touve selekte ka e komanse abe se sa ki touve selekte ka e komanse etwenman tou swit an proporasyon pou gwa kompetisyon ka wè bla ek mè se medam sa se kote nou an tou about nouvel la mou ka wè mè se yo otan pou gade mou ka bar yo invitasyon pou chèle pi mou anko den gany pwese ton lot nouvel la kweyol Messi on Pill Primus. And here's a look at what's happening to us weather wise. A high pressure system over the Atlantic will continue to maintain moderate to brisk easterly winds and above normal seas around the Eastern Caribbean region during the next few days. Low level clouds drifting with this wind flow will bring a few showers over the islands during the next 24 hours. Small craft operators and sea bathers are advised to exercise caution due to brisk winds and above normal seas. Tides for Castries Harbour high at 12.22 p.m., low at 7.22 p.m. Tides for Viewfort Bay high at 1.29 p.m., low at 8.49 p.m. Seas moderate to locally rough with waves and novelly swells 5 to 8 feet or 1.5 to 2.4 meters. The sun will rise Saturday at 6.20 a.m. And that brings us to the end of the NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Nisha Trost.